Hi guys, Pastor Gerald here with Calvary Chapel Tehachapi with this week's Coffee with Pastor. And again, we're sharing in the book of Proverbs, uh, which is my intention to share a proverb of the day uh, or of the week, but whatever day that Monday falls on will be the uh, subsequent proverb that I read. So today is June 1st, so we're looking at Proverbs chapter 1, kind of our introduction here to the book of Proverbs, starting at the beginning. And I just wanted to highlight for you uh, a couple points in chapter 1 of Proverbs. Uh, Solomon begins to speak about, uh, for us as Christians, to be careful uh, in how we walk and who we associate with. And he talks about these fools or these wicked men who are always looking to take advantage of people or to steal from people or to harm people, uh, to trap them and to entice them. Uh, Solomon warns us to uh, not cast our lot with them when they try to entice us to join in with this wickedness and this fooly, foolishness. Uh, we are to not uh, join in and cast our lot with them. He says in verse 15, he says, my son, do not walk in the way with them. Keep your feet from their path, for their feet run to evil, and they hasten to shed blood. And so Solomon gives us this wisdom that we aren't to uh, be entangled or to uh, join together with these people who are uh, foolish or who are wicked. Then he goes on to tell us about how wisdom God's wisdom is calling from the streets. He says in verses 20 to 24 that wisdom shouts in the streets. She lifts her voice in the square. At the head of the noisy street, she cries out. Uh, wisdom is always crying out here even at the noisy streets. As, uh, we have to learn to turn the noise off and to get alone with God and be fed uh, with the word of God and the wisdom of God. He says, at the head of the noisy streets, wisdom cries out. Wisdom is there, but are you listening to wisdom? It says, at the entrance of the gates in the city, she utters her sayings. How long, O oh naive ones, will you love being simple-minded or foolish? At scoffers, and scoffers delight themselves in scoffing, and fools hate knowledge. You know, what a very sad thing when people reject God. The Bible says that it is the fool who says there is no God. That is a foolish man. And so the man who refuses to have the knowledge and the wisdom of God and goes his own way and pursues his own knowledge and comes up with his own wisdom, uh, this man is referred to as a fool. And when the fool rejects God, what happens then? Well, God says in verse 28, through Solomon, he says, they will call on me, but I will not answer. They will seek me diligently, but they will not find me because they hated knowledge and did not choose the fear of the Lord. They would not accept my counsel. They spurned all my reproof. So they shall eat of the fruit of their own way and be sated with their own devices. For the waywardness of the naive will kill them, and complacency of fools will destroy them. You see, it's not God who is uh, rejecting the fool. It is the fool who has already rejected God. And so the Bible says here that their day of dread will come because the end of a fool's run or his life is going to be death. That is the casualty of being a fool, being naive, being simple-minded. It's death. As wisdom is crying out at the streets to anyone who would have ears to hear. But those who have rejected God and resisted God, well, then they will eat, as verse 31 says, they will eat of the fruit of their own way. And so God will give them what they ultimately desire and it will kill them and destroy them. But verse 33 says this to you and I. But he who listens to me shall live securely. I love that word. Will live securely and he will be at ease from the dread 
of evil. So don't join in with the evil. Don't let the evil begin to draw you in and the hatred and the misery. Instead, resist it. Don't cast your lot with it. Uh, turn to the Lord and, and live securely, and you will not have any fear of the evildoers. And so uh, be blessed here today. I pray that uh, you would just be seeking the Lord in his presence uh, and living securely and at peace uh, because we know pure love, true love, cast out fear. We have no fear of the evil one. We have no fear of the world, and we have no fear of death. Oh, death, where is your sting? Uh, there is no sting to death because we are alive. We have been made alive in Christ Jesus. So be blessed this week. Hope to see you this Wednesday or Thursday or Sunday. Uh, may the Lord bless you and keep you. In Jesus' name, amen.